Up early as the final day of the Major League Baseball season has arrived. Good morning. It's about 6 a.m. and uh, getting ready to head up the mountains with my brother. Just occurred to me, today is the day that either the Cleveland Indians or Chicago Cubs will finally break their streak and win the World Series. What a beautiful day. Three hours later, I am up here at my place up in northeastern Pennsylvania, and it is beautiful out. Absolutely nice temperatures, clear skies. It's awesome. So I'm going to spend a lot of today doing some video shoots, some stuff like that. Hopefully I'll have some stuff up on YouTube. We'll see how things turn out. You kind of never know uh, how it works out, but what I'm really excited for is tonight, Game 7. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be just thrilling. It's just going to be so much fun. And like I said in previous videos, I'm not a Cubs fan, I'm not an Indians fan, but I'm a baseball fan. And Game 7s, that do-or-die situation, all I can hope for is a really great, dramatic, close game. Heading out on a little uh, hunting adventure. Steve, what what are you uh, after today? Uh, hoping to see a nice buck. A little deer hunting time, and uh, then tonight I'll be uh, checking out World Series Game 7. These guys, well, I've been up too, so hopefully you can stay awake. I'm planning on trying to take a nap. Hopefully I'll be uh, hanging a nice deer while they're in there watching the game. So I'm out here at this hunting property, just hanging out, doing a little bit of video work. Nothing extensive, but uh, looking forward to seeing how it, uh, how it turns out. Played with the drone a little bit, but... Obviously, you can only use it so much. A couple quick aerial shots. Um, the drone is really loud. I know people are afraid of drones, and I'm sure you can get stealth ones. But this sucker, this big one that I use, is really loud, and uh, it will spook uh, animals such as deer who, you know, worry about prey. You know, a cow or something, they could care less. They, they don't worry about it. But deer, deer get spooked, and turkeys and stuff like that. So I'm just out here hanging out. Uh, playing with some equipment and I'll uh, hopefully get some more uh, shots to use. I was up late last night watching the game and preparing some stuff and then got up early today to uh, to head north and so I only got a few hours sleep and uh, of course with game 7 tonight my intention is to stay up for the entirety of the game of course. So anyway I'm out here uh, in the woods here and I was filming some stuff and uh, figured, you know what, I'm going to take a nap. I at least want to close my eyes, get a half hour, hour sleep. It's been more like two and a half hours, off and on, of course, but wow. Um, holy nap. It's a heck of a nap, and I am definitely feeling a little groggy right now, but I'll feel uh, I'll feel like a million bucks soon, so... Uh, Hey, nothing like napping out in the wilderness, right? As you guys can tell, based on the screen, the sun is set, and uh, my brothers aren't back yet, so I never know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, they're up there uh, doing their hunting, and it's like, did they wait to the last minute because they didn't get anything, or did they get something and they're trying to drag it down the mountain? I guess we'll find out soon. They're done deer hunting for the day. Was it a good day or no? Nah, a little too warm. Steve got nothing, Tom got nothing, Andrew over there got nothing. Hopefully they'll have better luck tomorrow. We can pack up, get this stuff home, and uh, get something to eat and watch World Series Game 7. And it's finally time for Game 7 to begin. little history early on in Game 7 of the World Series. The first ever leadoff home run in a Game 7. I don't know, Cubs uh, off to a good start, but we've got a long way to go. Cleveland gets a run in the bottom of the third. We're tied at one through three. Feels like a classic. I'm going to go pour myself a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the game. Top of the fourth inning, the Cubs get two runs. 
Could the 108-year wait be over? I guess we'll find out in an hour or two, won't we? Wow, we're through five, and it is a 5-3 game right now. The Cubs are in the lead. They're inching closer to that championship. Um, they took a 5-1 lead. They extended their lead, and you sat there and said, you know, oh, are, are the Cubs ready to put this away? And then Joe Madden, uh, and this may work out, for him, but in my opinion, made an absolutely jackass of a move. Why would you take out Kyle Hendricks, who's cruising, pitching well, not getting in any trouble, and he yanks him for John Lester? And there was just no reason for it. I mean, Hendricks has been great, and he's only thrown like 60-some pitches. And uh, Lester came in, and the uh, Indians ended up getting two runs off him, so it's a 5-3 game. The game just got tighter, and now you've lost your starter. And, you know, I just don't understand the move. Uh, like I said, it may work out. The Cubs may still win this game. But if they don't, and this is the reason, I mean, Joe Madden, come on, dude. Brutal move. Absolutely brutal. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But we still got a lot of game to play. So we'll see uh, how it all plays out. Well, guys, you cannot ask for more out of the seventh game of a World Series. I'm, like, shaking here. Uh, you can probably see the camera shaking. I, I mean, this is amazing baseball. If you're an Indians or Cubs fan, I don't even know how you can watch this. Um, you're sitting there thinking that, you know, I'm sitting there watching a game, and I'm like, all right, the Cubs are six outs away, and uh, they get two outs, and you're thinking, oh, they're four outs away from winning the World Series. And next thing you know... Um, Indians get a few hits, and then Rajah Davis, who's had a horrendous... i got to stop shaking this camera. Had a horrendous postseason so far. He hits a two-run, game-tying home run. Chapman's struggling, and um, I guess we'll see what happens. We're going to the top of the ninth, and this game is tied. Um, this, this is exciting baseball. I'm actually... I just walked out to the garage because I don't know how you can fall asleep, but... Uh, well, we got a lot of people who got up really early today and they didn't all take midday naps like me. So uh, we got some people sleeping. So I'm doing my uh, my talking out here uh, in the garage where I don't have to whisper. But uh, guys, wow, this uh, should be a thrilling conclusion to this baseball season. So I want to thank you guys uh, for watching the channel. Extra innings, rain delay. Who saw any of this coming? Following the rain delay, the Cubs took advantage of Brian Shaw having to sit. They got base runners on. They had a few key hits. They take a two-run lead. They're now up 8-6, to six, and the Cubs are three outs away from winning their first World Series in 108 years. Cubs fans got to be on the edge of their seats here. We'll see. This game's been a little crazy, so we'll see how interesting the bottom of the 10th gets. One o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, and the Chicago Cubs have finally won the World Series after 108 years in a thrilling seven-game series, a thrilling seventh game. This game went 10 innings. It had everything you could have wanted. Absolutely unbelievable. Congratulations to all the Cubs fans out there. Uh, to the Indians fans, you guys had a great year. This Indians team was so impressive this postseason. They were just fantastic the way they took down the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. And they they took the Cubs as far as they could. I mean, I think they just really started to run out of bullets, uh, unfortunately for them. Um, I, the pitching staff did such a great job. Uh, this Indians team is really good. They will be in the mix for the next few years. But the Chicago Cubs, this is all about them. They battled back from 2-1 down to the Dodgers and caught fire and wound up winning the pennant. And then here in this series with their backs against the wall down three games to one, they were sensational. They got things going and they come back and they win. So Cubs fans, you've waited a long time. I know this was worth it. Uh, just unbelievable an amazing uh, game. And it's really... As a baseball fan, it's just special to watch. It was, you know, like I said, an outstanding series, an outstanding seventh game. 
you know, I was, I was nervous watching it. And again, like, you know, I don't have any stakes in it and I was nervous. So I can't even imagine uh, if you're a fan of these teams, uh, how amazing it was, how amazing it was. But uh, yeah, the baseball season has concluded and it really went out in style. (laughs) 